Okay, dehydration in your kidney disease cat. So this can happen very commonly and that's because the kidneys are not retaining the amount of water that they should be anymore because they're not working as well. So in general, that can cause some constipation, some general lethargy, wobbly gait, all those types of things. Um, so we want to help stimulate our cats to intake more water. That can be via a water fountain, making sure they have fresh water all the time. Um, can diets are great for kidney cats because of the increased moisture content, so that is always a good indicator. Uh, other things that you can do sometimes if the progression of kidney disease gets to a certain point, um, your vet may talk to you about giving fluids to your cat under their skin, so what we call subcutaneous fluid therapy. We may wind up doing that once a week, a couple times a week, um, whatever maintenance that we need to do to help keep them hydrated. So sometimes um, you guys may have to uh, go through that progression, but cats generally do very well with getting those sub-Q fluids, especially if you're giving them a tasty treat at the same time or general love, those types of things, because they they, they start to realize that they feel a lot better afterwards. So um, yeah, keep them hydrated.